Hello, Hello our beautiful, beautiful people. people. Welcome back to the LD world. It's your boy Lance with my girl Dua. And we have a video for you guys. Um, you guys already know a lot of you are new to this channel because you've seen our video going around all over the internet through Facebook, Instagram, um, TikTok, and Twitter. And we're going to, we're creating this video to address the situation again. Um, that's pretty much what we're gonna do right now. So if you want answers to all of your questions, whether they're good questions or bad questions, we're gonna answer them for you right now. If you guys like our channel or like the video, please uh, give this channel a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button to join the family and turn on that notification bell because after this video, we're getting back on track to some really cool topics that I think you guys will enjoy. And without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so we, we took the, the chance, we took the opportunity to go back and look at the video that we've made and we looked at other videos that a lot of people were posting or reposting online. One thing that we noticed where there were a lot of big names out there, um, a lot of huge social media influencer who has taken our influencers who has taken our video and kind of some of them, I'm not going to lie, some of them were showing the whole video. And then there were other people, especially some of the larger influencers who were chopping and splicing our video to kind of make it seem like we were saying things intentional and in a certain light. So we've been receiving a lot of negative comments based off of that. So what we wanted to do, we have a voice. We created the video. We wanted to take this opportunity to tell our truth. We know that this video reached millions of people. We know that it reached millions of people. We know that a lot of people are not going to take the chance to come and get to know us on our own channel. So the ones who are here and who do care about our truth, not some splice version, not some version to get likes because we're trending right now, but the ones who do care about our truth, hopefully you guys will um, understand us a little bit more from this video here. And that's why we're creating this. But uh, let's get right into it. We're gonna address the first topic. First topic is um, something that I said. This isn't Dua, this is me. Something that I said in our video, um, myths about white women. At the end of the video on TikTok, it said that uh, white women are better than black women. Now, what we didn't know, and this is a huge slip up on us, is that at the end of that TikTok video, it cuts out before I get to finish talking. Um, now, once again, the title is Myths About White Women. So the last one that I put on there was that white women are better than black women. The reason why I put that on there was because... Um, all throughout growing up, I grew up in a predominantly white area. I've, I've gone between both, but a lot of the times when I was in school, I grew up in a predominantly white area. When I would date a white woman, I had people come up to me and be like, so do you think white women are better than black women? And I'm just gonna put that out here now, and you'll see in our other videos that I do not think that. And I wanted to debunk that myth on TikTok, but unfortunately, our video cut out. So we're gonna play um, the fake version for you or we're gonna play the version that was on TikTok for you, and then we're gonna play the real version that got cut out. And then we're also gonna show you a YouTube video that dives a little bit more into that and why what I and why I said what I said. So here you go. White women are loyal. Goes back Never with- know. Okay, that's comforting. <laughs> Is that white women are better than black women. That's a huge- so as you can see, you want to say something? No, I was going to say, I edited that video and I edited it exactly one minute because that is what TikTok allows. Mm -hmm. And they cut out huge mid, mm -hmm. which is probably the last second. Which I, I didn't look back at the video after I uploaded it and I didn't know they cut it out. Yeah. But our original version has the huge mid in it. So let's go ahead and play the original version. Yeah, it was back Never with, know. okay, that's comforting. <laughs> Is that white women are better than black women? That's a huge myth. So as you can see in the original version, we said that's a huge myth. We saved that for last because obviously we, I, in my thought process, I wanted to save the best for last because I get, I used to get that a lot growing up that, oh, do you think, why, why do you do it? No. No, white women are not better than black women. I personally think that everyone is equal. If I get hate for saying that, then I get hate for saying that. But, um, but we wait. dive a little bit more into that in our YouTube video. I wanna show them that now, wait. 
So we created that TikTok based off of a YouTube video. Um, unfortunately, we didn't know that it cut out at the end, but we're gonna play the YouTube video for us where we dive into it a little bit more. It doesn't matter from who, but we hear this all the time. Black guys are dating white girls because white girls are better than black girls. Mm. Yes, I hear that all the time. And I just wanna go ahead as a black male, say that is not true at all. White girls are not better than black girls. Black girls are not better than white girls. People are people. Just because an individual chooses to date outside of their race does not mean that that person is better than someone within their race. And also that might not be a choice. Like falling in love with someone. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. it's not like you're like, I'm oh. going to choose to date outside mm -hmm. my race. I'm going to choose to fall in love with a white woman. I'm going to choose to fall in love with a, with a, in the case of a black girl being with a white guy. I'm gonna to choose to fall in love with a white man. Like, come on, people. Let's let's not be like that anymore. Let's yeah. stop. Let's stop. Love is love. Let somebody love who they want to love. If it happens to be outside of their race, let them be happy. That's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it. Um, I dove into it in huge detail on our YouTube channel. Um, we created our TikTok videos based off of our YouTube videos in hopes that people from TikTok would come and look at our YouTube videos. Um, unfortunately, that wasn't explained very well in TikTok. I don't blame TikTok, we blame ourselves. We should have reviewed it. But for those of you who wanna get to know us on a little bit of a deeper level and understand who we are as the LD world, before you judge, go ahead and take a look at what, what we've actually said before we film that TikTok video. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna talk about here is um, we created a video called What to Know Before Dating Black Men. Now, we created that title and we talk, we say black men, but we really meant, what we meant wasn't what we actually said, and that's our fault. We'll take the blame for that, 100%. We're just, we're basically talking about our relationship and our experiences. Um, we didn't, we should have known that we should have explained that, we dropped the ball on that. Yeah. But um, take it from here, do it once, go ahead and explain something. No, I wanna talk about the clip where I say, for some reason, mm -hmm. cause that has been, I feel like that's out there. People are like, he's so ignorant, he's racist for saying that. And I just wanna say, I shouldn't have said it. That's it. Like I shouldn't have said it. Mm -hmm. No, we were going to talk about um, you being sensitive about some topics that we discuss. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was, that's, that's what I was supposed to say in the video. And you mean, you mean, when you say you, you're talking about me. Yes. Yeah. You. Yeah. So well, in our relationship, there are some things that are sensitive and that's what we were kind of making fun of. And that's what, that's what we were talking about in, the, in that video. We, were, we, said, we said black men um, in that video. And black culture, we should not have said that either. It was supposed to be like, you were sensitive about like talking about some topics. Mm -hmm. It was not sensitive about the history. Mm -hmm. And then I say for some reason in the beginning, because I didn't know how to start that sentence. I wasn't thinking and I just, I really shouldn't have said it. So I'm sorry, I, it's my fault. I mean, that's pretty much it. Like, you know, the reason why we're saying this now is because these are things people are, are taking out and they're saying, oh, we hate you for this. Oh, you white B for this. Oh, you, you slut for this, this and that. And it's like, okay. We said it, it's out there. We can't take it back. Literally the whole world has seen it. But understand why we said it. We filmed like five videos that day and we were just trying to get through videos. She wasn't thinking on the exact wording. She was just trying to, is I, that a mistake start, that we made? I start all sentences the same way. Like mm -hmm. I use some words and for some reason I use that a lot. So I just started it it's with actually, that. And um, so, yeah, I mean, before the hate, should be pushed out 
understand why we said it. And then like, when we look back on it, we'd be like, oh man, like, yeah, we could have said it differently. We definitely we weren't gener generalizing a whole race. We do not know the whole race. We haven't been around the whole race. We didn't know that we had to explain that, but we would do that going on in the future. And she didn't mean it like that. She really did. So that's answering that there. All right, the next video we're gonna show you guys is we talk about having mixed babies. Now, there's a lot of people who hate me for saying that. A lot of people saying that was a nail in the coffin. A lot of people saying I am no longer black for saying that, which, okay, I understand why you're upset, but let us play the video and then we'll talk about it. In three, it's actually a good one. If you have kids with a white girl, you're gonna have some beautiful little mixed babies. So I'm gonna just go ahead and throw that out there. That's what you should know. So let me explain what I meant by that. Um, I specifically said, if you have kids with a white girl, you're gonna have beautiful mixed babies. That doesn't take away that all babies are not beautiful. That doesn't take away that black babies are not beautiful. That is by all means. If you guys know me, um, if you've been to our channel, if you know us, that is by all means not what I meant. That is why at the beginning I said, if you get with a white girl. So I said the if because if you're not with a white woman, obviously you're not gonna have mixed kids. Well, there are more races, but... Yeah. And yeah. also, it that doesn't mean that you only have to be with a white woman to have beautiful babies. That is 100% not true. For the people out there that are saying we have mixed kids fetish, to be honest with you, I've never even known that was a fetish until people started saying that. No. And that is a God honest truth. If God is my witness, I never even knew that. So I don't have this fetish of mixed kids. I was talking about, I was trying to be light. We were trying to be a little funny. If we, if we were wrong for doing that, We'll admit it, we're wrong for doing that. But I definitely was not demeaning anybody else's babies, any other racist babies. Obviously, all babies are beautiful. I was talking about us and our relationship. Um, hopefully you can understand where I'm coming from now. If you don't, that's fine, I understand. But I definitely, I mean, I, I specifically said if. So it, that, that's not taken away from anybody else and their baby. If that offended you, we apologize. But that's not how we meant it. Get to know us behind the scenes. Get to know us behind the videos. I think it's also important to not look at us just because society has this image of mixed babies or this fatties or whatever mm -hmm. they were talking about. It doesn't mean we have that view or like, it doesn't mean we think like that. All right, this next one, we talk about the N-word. Um, people were saying that we were laughing and joking around and saying the N-word. The only reason why we were doing that was trying to keep the situation light. Like I said, we should have generalized it a little bit more to our relationship. This is a huge learning experience for us. Believe that. We, sh um, we should have generalized it more to our relationship. We know not every black person uses the N-word. This was mainly for us. I used to, I'm going to be honest with you. I used to use that word a lot. But as I have changed and grown in my walk with Christ, there are a lot of things that I don't do anymore that I used to do. When we created, um, not when we created that video, we created this video talking about the past of our relationship. We're gonna just go ahead and play it for you guys so you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> they use the N word and you just have to be okay with it. Yeah, that's true, you gotta, but, but you I don't can't endorse use it. it. I don't <laughs> <laughs> So talk about your perspective and I'll talk about mine. So, I grew up in Iceland, but I never used to hear my family or my friends use this word or say this word. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I've heard people say this, but I was never used to hearing someone really close to me say this word. So when I came to America, I met his family and his friends. Not necessarily my family, but you know, the people I hung out around. Well, your brothers, mm -hmm. your... Yeah, the people around yeah. you. When I came here, people, I kind of heard it almost daily. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't used to that. And that's basically what I'm saying in the video is when, when I came here, I had to change like how I look at it and be, be okay with people around me using it. 
and that's not and that's just it. and that's not just you there um i'm gonna talk about myself and my experiences i'm gonna be a little bit more clear from now on when i used to use that word and i hung out around some of my white friends sometimes they would try to say it and i'd be like oh you can't say it but they had to be okay with me saying it and that's wrong nobody should say it i don't think that word is appropriate that is what we meant in that video. Now, of course, we were laughing and joking around. We were trying to bring light to a dark situation. I don't, I don't think that word should be used at all, and that is why I cut that out of my vocabulary. Um, there's, people, there's people out there who disagree with me completely. There's people out there who be like, oh, this is our word, we should use it. Oh, um, certain people shouldn't use it, and so on and so forth. I don't think the word should be used at all. I have changed from the person I used to be to who I am now. Um, now, the judgment that we're getting from that, there's no possible way you on TikTok could understand that from the 30 second video. Like I said, we should have been more clear, which is why we're making this video. Um, but like she said, she was talking about her experience and I was talking about my further videos that we do from here, we will make that more clear. So this, um, this is the last video that we're gonna show from all the videos that are going viral online. Um, a lot of people are saying, I said that I don't, I act different around white people than I do in the hood. Um, there is a reason why I said that. The reason why I said that is because- Well, let's show them the video, no? Okay, yeah, Before go ahead you... and show them the video. Do you think you change how you act around white people versus black people? Hundred percent. There's no possible way I'm gonna go into the hood and act the same way around black people as I do around white people. No, I probably shouldn't have said. I probably shouldn't have associated the hood with black people. For some reason, society associates being black with hood talk, and that is exactly what I meant. Society places that. Hold on. You'd be surprised. Just because of the way that I talk, just because of the way that I act, people say that I am not black because I don't talk hood. And that is what I meant in that video. I couldn't explain it. I couldn't explain what I meant by hood. I probably shouldn't have associated hood with being black, but that is the way society associates black as being hood. And that is not true. Society shouldn't associate it that way. And I put myself into that same box that a society is associating us with. And you guys are hundred percent correct. I should not have done that. As I went back and reviewed that video, I saw it and I was like, you know what? I should have checked myself. I should have done that. And I'm glad for you guys for, um, I appreciate you guys for checking me on that. So moving on to the future, that'll be handled in a whole new light. All right, the, the last thing that we want to address, um, you come to our channel, you see everything we're doing, and you see that every single title is black this, white this, so on and so forth. Um, there's, a re there's a couple of reasons why we do that. Reason number one is just a basic reason. If you guys are doing anything on social media, um, especially for YouTube, you guys have heard of something called SEO. Search engine, search engine optimization. And there's certain keywords that people type in and look for that people watch. And so whenever I create a title, I have to type in keywords. And if you go through and look at all of our videos, our most popular videos are the ones that have black and white in a title. Um, and it's our most searched It's a, it's the most, black and white in a title is the most searched thing on Google and YouTube. So as a small YouTube channel, in order for us to get our message out there, we have to put certain things into the title. Now, you guys may agree or disagree with that, but that's facts. You guys are searching these things, so we have to put it into the title so we can reach the audience. But now that we're out there, we don't have to put those things in the title because we're reaching audience now. If we didn't know that this would happen, it wasn't our intention, but you'll see the transition moving forward. But I mean, that's the reason why we had black and white in our titles. Another reason why is because we live in a society now where race is a sensitive topic. Yeah. We live in a society where I personally feel like we need to talk about interracial 
things because there's a lot of people who do not agree with interracial relationships. There's a lot of people who look at interracial relationships as taboo. There's a lot of people, and I'm getting messages now, even from the TikTok, even before the TikTok video, saying that I shouldn't be with a white girl. These are, these are real issues. Whether you agree with what we said or not, these things are being said and these things will be addressed in future videos because there's a difference between disagreeing with what somebody puts out there and talking about it, and there's a difference between beating somebody down and you know yeah. sharing the beating with the entire world like okay we may have made a mistake but when you're gonna beat us down and then share it with the entire world that you are beating us down and everybody is celebrating us being beat down and not knowing why we're being beat down that's the kind of society we live in and that's the things that we are going to continue talking about moving in the future and I want to I wanna encourage everyone, like, if you see a video of someone that you may not agree with or you feel like you need to comment a hate comment, just don't do it. Like, when someone makes a mistake, there's an easier way to go about it. Mm -hmm. You can private message them. Tell them in a, what do you say, like, in a critical, or like a... What constructive criticism construct yes but you know we could say that but realistically people aren't going to do that people there's going to be people giving us hate messages for this video no i know i'm just saying no matter if you want to listen to me or not like there's a better way to go about it mm -hmm. because you can when you look at our tiktok comments no matter what we did we made a mistake mm -hmm. it was wrong but i don't think it justifies what people were saying you know um this has helped us realize the direction that we need to go to god has really blessed us through this situation um there's a lot of big name people out there that are beating us down in the ground which is fine um we're god fearing people we we know that after the storm comes light we know that you know good things are going to come out of this we appreciate everybody for messaging us the positivity that they have been sending us. We're excited for the new direction that we're going in with our YouTube channel. We're going to continue talking about race. We're going to continue talking about um, black and white. We're going to continue talking about things. We've gotten floods of DMs of people who are seeing us and saying that they're going through the same thing. Maybe on not on such a large scale, but they're going through the same things either in their family or in their homes or with their friends. So we're gonna continue talking about these things. We will be careful on how we say things, but we will shine light on the darkness. There's a lot of darkness out there. You can look through our YouTube comments. You can look through our TikTok comments. You can look through our Instagram comments. There's a lot of darkness out there and we will shine light on it. Um, we appreciate you guys for having our backs. We appreciate you guys who have sent us some constructive criticism for sending us that. Because yeah. sometimes we need to be checked. We're new at this. We're learning. Um, now that we have a platform, we are going to be better. And everything that we do, um, we're going to put God first. And we're just going to keep moving forward. That's just how it's going to be. So if you, don't disagree, if you do disagree with what we're doing, um, well, it's fine. completely fine. If you agree with what we're doing, what we are doing. Thank you for standing with us. Like I said, this video that we're making, it's not going to reach the people who saw the negativity. And that's fine. We're not going to reach everybody. But there are going to be people that we do reach. And there are going to be lives that we will change. And we want to let you guys know, if you're going through what we're going through in any way, shape, or form, we're here for you. And we're going to continue to be here for you. The LD world isn't going anywhere. If you do like this video and like what we're saying, please share it. Help us get our message out there because the negativity is out there. Why not put the positive out there? But people like sharing negativity. It gets the likes, it gets the subscriptions, it gets the tags, it gets this. Yep. But we'll see We'll see how this does. Um, so that's pretty much all we have to say and thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Make sure to turn on that notification bell because like I said, we do have some pretty cool and interesting videos coming for you guys later on in the future. We'll see you guys soon. Later. I was one again, it's time to care. Should you share love?
love one day